first thing I would do is go ahead and check the patient's chart. Um, make sure there was a uh, order for a, a blood or ABG to be taken. And then I'll go ahead and enter the patient's room, introduce myself, um, and do a two um, part identifier with the patient, the name and birthday. And then I go ahead and explain to the patient that we're gonna do an ABG blood draw making sure to explain to them that I'm gonna be taking blood from the artery and not from the veins like the nurses do. Um, and first thing I would do is per, um, perform an Allen's test just to make sure that we have good collateral return um, for the blood draw to be done on the uh, radial artery. So after I've done all that, I'll go ahead and um, wash my hands and put on standard precautions I probably would have put down the standard precautions before I even did the Allen's test so that I have my gloves and everything on. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and palpate for the radial artery. And there it is. I'll get my alcohol wipe and um, clean the area, ensuring that it dries. I'll go ahead and get my syringe and needle, take the cap off, and I'm going to pull back to 1.5 milliliters. I will make sure that the bevel is facing upward. I'm going to hold the needle like a pencil. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and explain to the patient that I'm going to insert on the count of three. So one, two, three, Mr. Skeleton, here we go. Needle's inserted. I'm going to wait for the blood to um, fill up the syringe here. I'll go ahead and get my gauze once it's all filled and I'm going to hold and apply pressure. Keeping the needle facing away from me, I'll go ahead and cork it using um, whatever safety system that you have for the syringe. Um, I'll go ahead and get, I'm gonna hold this pressure for about three to five minutes. I'm gonna get my Band-Aid, put the bandage on there, and I will go ahead and get my sample. I will put the cap on it. I got my patient label already filled out. It has the patient's name, birthday, temperature, um, and room number, um, maybe their MRN, things like that on there. I'll go ahead and put on a biohazard bag. I will make sure that my sample doesn't have any air bubbles in it. Um, and then I will make sure the biohazard bag, go ahead and close it up. And we'll send that off to lab. Deep lab, wash my hands. That's it.